Hey guys, this is Matt with 4hydroponics.com and today we're going to be talking about some different microbial products. Uh, first up, we'll talk about what microbes or microbial products are all about. Uh, microbes are the little living organisms you're going to find naturally occurring in nature. These microorganisms are actually drawn to the root by uh, a secretion that roots actually release called exudates. Um, this is basically you know, a pheromone with a little bit of food, something that draws microbes into the root system, which tells you that in nature these are a symbiotic relationship here. Things are, you know, both parties are happy about this relationship. The microbes are getting something, mostly sugar from the plants, and the plants are getting help with nutrient uptake, nutrient uh, root protection, as well as expanding their root mass through the uh, fungal growth. So in general, these uh, microbes are really beneficial. They're going to help with overall production of your plant's yield, um, flavor, aroma, root growth, um, root mass, filling those containers up to the point where you can pull the plant out at the end and it's just one big block. Using some kind of microbial product, especially some of the higher fungus driven products can really help you uh, root those pots out all the way and really benefit from the larger root masses that you're trying to uh, use. Um, the other thing they're going to do is break down organic nutrients. So if you have a super soil with a bunch of nutrients in there, it's not all completely available. Those microbes are going to go to work breaking down uh, that organic material and turning it into plant food, which is how it's you know done in nature. And that's that symbiosis that we're looking for. Um, in our container gardening, a lot of times those uh, natural microbes that are in the mix off the bat will only have so much of a shelf life or so much of a food source and they end up kind of petering out or dying out. So re-inoculating on a regular basis with something like a mixture of a bunch of different microbes or maybe more specific microbes can really keep that soil healthy through the duration of the plant's life. Um, in hydroponics, the majority of what microbes are going to be doing are protecting your roots from invading kind of bacteria and fungi. The concept being if your system is full of beneficial bacteria and the beneficial bacteria and fungi is coating every part of your roots and every part of your system, if a bad bacteria would make it into that system and try to culture your root zone or culture your hydroponic system, it wouldn't really have any real estate, it wouldn't have any food source because the beneficial bacteria has basically taken over the entire system. That's the way that it's going to protect you from having you know, a bad uh, problem with bacterial rot, like root rot, pythium, things like that. Also, water temperature is a really important part of that with hydroponics, keeping low water temperature as well as using some of these beneficial microbes can really keep the risk of getting root rot way, way down, which is probably the worst thing that you can get in hydroponics uh, for your plant's health. We'll look at some of the most important or some of the more popular products that we sell. There are a lot of these products on the market. A lot of them are really good. I can't get into them all today, but these are some of the more popular ones that we do sell here in our shop. Um, Advanced Nutrients makes a couple different uh, liquids. They make the piranha and the tarantula. The piranha is going to be more of their liquid fungus. Um, this is ideally it dilutes a little bit better in water than a powder. A lot of people feel like with the powders you're getting more sediment in the bottom of your mix and maybe not all of it is becoming available or not all of it is really being activated for the plant. So the liquid's really nice in its own way for fungus, especially for you know soil and, and cocoa plants. Um, in hydroponics you don't see a lot of fungus being used because it doesn't really culture the water systems very well. Bacteria is really what's doing the majority of the culturing. So this is mostly for soil and uh, cocoa but it definitely can be used in hydro. Um, which is just a mixture of really good beneficial fungus. Um, their tarantula is going to be their bacteria based, so you could use these in conjunction with each other, especially in soil and cocoa, or maybe just more bacteria based when we get into the hydroponic systems. Um, but like I said, they can be used together in, uh, in you know good ratio to give you a good balance of fungus and bacteria. Um, next up is the orca. The orca is the liquid version of the great white shark, which I'm sure a lot of people know. Um, this is once again is more specific for hydro. It can be used in soil and cocoa as well. It does have some fungus in it, but it's m much heavier in bacteria than the uh, powder form. Um, easy to use, easy to dilute, and, and complete dilution. So you're not getting pockets of you know your mix at the bottom of a bucket. So once again, really good for hydroponics or uh, a, a soilless medium as well. HydroGuard is a Botanicare's version of this kind of orca, a beneficial bacteria basically that's going to protect your roots and protect your, your system from getting kind of inoculated by any kind of bad bacteria that could be in your garden floating around. Anytime you open up that res or open up those buckets there's a chance that some kind of bacteria gets in there and can start the process of uh, breeding. 
So uh, also a great product. We've seen a lot of success with this in deep water culture as well in epic flows and, and grips. Um, here are some of the more popular powders on the market right now. The Great White Shark, uh, Plant Success, as well as uh, Substrate uh, M, sorry, Subculture M. Um, that's a newer one from General Hydroponics. Um, all of these are going to be, you know, a good mixture of beneficial bacteria as well as uh, fungus. So you're going to kind of get a blend. Um, great whites, kind of claim to fame, and also plant success is a lot of different species of fungus and bacteria. You know, a couple different trichoderma in the teens of bacteria and uh, fungus, different species. So they're kind of going with the shotgun method, where you're going to add your endo, your ecto, mycorrhizae, and you're going to add your bacteria, and you're kind of going to let them just do their thing. That concept goes behind the idea that soil temperatures and soil moisture will have a big impact on what microbes are colonizing your medium and how vigorous they're growing. So by adding a huge array of different endo, ecto, bacteria, and um, sorry, uh, fungus and bacteria, you're really kind of covering all bases and knowing that you're going to have some kind of beneficial growth going on in your substrate. Um, Next up would be the Organism XL. Organism XL by Roots Organic, a very good uh, mycorrhizal product, also has some bacteria in there, but also has a little extra kick. It's got some seaweed, some humic acid, and some yucca extract. So you're getting a little bit of nutrients with that, you're getting a wetting agent with that, and you're getting a little bit of the seaweed benefits, which is plant hormones and also micronutrients. So this is kind of a supercharged uh, microbial product that can also give your plants some food. Um, then last but not least, uh, the Myco Skies. Um, this is kind of the other end of the spectrum. Great White's kind of the shotgun method. This would be more of the sniper method. This is just one strain of fungus. Um, the concept being there's no root competition. There's no competition in your medium between microbes trying to take over one another. It's just one beneficial microbe that's been shown to be extremely vigorous growing and the one that ends up usually taking over anyway. Um, and so kind of more bang for your buck. We're not spending any money on any kind of microbe that might not help us in any way. So uh, kind of other end of the spectrum there. Um, I recommend definitely getting some microbial products into your soil. If you're using any kind of heavy soil, heavy um, nutritive soil, you'd really benefit from adding a microbial inoculant. Um, we'll talk a little bit just when to use them. If you're using an organic soil or a heavily amended soil outdoors, something like that, we don't need to use these products as often because they have the ability to perpetuate themselves. They have the ability to linger for a little bit longer. If we're using synthetic nutrients in a hydroponic system or synthetic nutrients in some kind of cocoa or soilless medium, or even in a regular amended soil, you may want to use these a little bit more often because every time we add that synthetic nutrient to our medium, we are putting somewhat of a hit on the population of microbes because of the makeup of the synthetics. The salts in them, the chemicals in them, just being very strong will definitely you know, take a hit of your population. So running synthetics, maybe once a week to once every week and a half. Running organics, you might go as often as two or three weeks in between inoculations. You really can't overdo it, but you can definitely waste a little bit of money if you're, you're throwing it for no reason. So um, all these products are available on our website. There's a whole lot more of these out there. So you know, find the one that works the best for you. Um, definitely give it a shot. I hope this video helped you out, explain a little bit about how these products work, and we'll see you next time.